Hello, I'm Paul. I'm this patient has been sent by his GP for an ultrasound investigation of the heart. Ultrasound has a number of key advantages. It's quick, cost-effective, and has virtually no associated hazards. It's also far more acceptable to many patients than some other modalities. ECG electrodes are attached to the patient to record the electrical signals from the heart. This allows the ultrasound images to be linked to the heart cycle. OK, and what I'd like you to do now for me is roll onto your left-hand side. That's just so your lungs drop out of the way for me, because I can't see through air. OK. Nice and relaxed. I'm just going to do a quick scan to see your heart structure for you. Because even a thin layer of air will reflect the ultrasound signal, a coupling gel is used between the ultrasound transducer and the patient. Ultrasound is useful for rapid and reliable cardiac investigations, particularly as it's the only technique that can provide information about blood flow. However, as ultrasound doesn't penetrate bone, the transducer has to be shaped so that the ultrasound beam will pass between the ribs. The transducer being used in this examination is a wideband transducer that transmits ultrasound at 1.75 MHz, a low enough frequency for good penetration of the heart. The images are formed by detecting the reflected second harmonic at 3.5 MHz. This gives a good compromise between spatial resolution and sensitivity. Paul has produced a parasternal view of the heart. First, a standard B mode image. Now he has chosen a direction from the B mode image to look at in M mode. This allows the position of different parts of the heart to be plotted against time. By moving into color Doppler mode, the blood flow through the heart can be visualized. Ultrasound reflected by blood flowing away from the transducer returns with a slightly lower frequency and shows up blue on the images. Conversely, blood flowing towards the transducer is shown in red. Moving to the apex of the heart, Paul uses a different Doppler technique. The frequency shift depends on the blood flow velocity. So a plot of frequency shift against time indicates flow velocity as a function of time. And this is plotted in yellow. Because the frequency shift is in the audible range, it can also be sent to a loudspeaker, and a trained operator can use the sound for diagnostic purposes.